Dr. Mohamed Nahashi, it's a pleasure seeing you and having having you with us. Thank you so much for joining. Dr. Mohamed Nahashi, it's a pleasure seeing you and having having you with us. Thank you so much for joining. Dr. Mohamed so Nahashi, I think we're kind of pleasure seeing you and having having you with us. Thank you so much for joining. Dr. Mohamed Nahashi, I think we're kind of pleasure seeing you and having with us. Thank you. So yeah, this is perfect. We have the, the double sound, but this is perfect. So thank you so much, Dr. Mohamed, and happy for joining. This is a this is beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for inviting me. I really appreciate it. And I'm so happy to be here today. I say salam to everyone, and I say salam because it means peace. And the word this word comes from four alphabets: S A L A M. Uh, I mean, in, in Arabic is four alphabets, and each alphabet is from one element, which is um, earth, water, air, and fire. Well, I think I have around 1,100 seconds to talk and do the meditation. I think that's pretty much time. We have a lots of time. We can expand it as we believe it. I picked or choose to talk about my beloved poet, Rumi, which is so familiar to all of you guys, especially when it comes to the story of happiness and love, Rumi shines by itself. So Rumi is our teacher who is going to teach us finding ourselves that is source of happiness, me, I am the source of happiness. And Rumi starts saying, as koja amadam, amadanam bahre chebud, be koja mira ba makhar, nan ma ibatanam. What am I coming from and why I came? And where am I heading to? For what? And where is my real home? So by this question, he wrote a lots of books. If we find ourselves, if we get closer to ourselves, <clears throat> we'll find the love. We'll find the heart. And if the love is there, the peace and happiness is there. When the love is there, there is light. So there is no darkness in our light. We cannot find a darkness in the light. No hate, no negativity, nothing in the light. One of those great uh, Persian scholars says, whoever deserves to have a love, I'm sorry, whoever deserves to have a soul, they definitely deserve to have a love. So we have love for ourselves, and we give it to others. That's how he talked about giving love to each other. And another Sufism uh, scholar says, to find a way to go within or to go in the right path is to travel through your empire. And I am my own empire. So one of the ways to travel to my empire is the meditation. So that's why at the end of this speech, we're going to have a meditation together. And we'll have very short meditation because people think that meditation should be one hour, two hours. And nowadays people are not having that much time maybe. So in a short time, we can have huge benefit of meditation. And that is possible. We will do it today together. Anyways, by finding ourselves, we get closer to ourselves. We get closer to our heart. We get connected to our heart. And then we can find the beauties, secrets, all of those facts. And on top of it, we can even see the Lord of beauty and love in ourselves. And what is better than that? To see the Lord of beauty, which who says, God says, I have created all the world because of love. And love is foundation for happiness. So when Rumi talks about how to get connected to yourself in all his poems, he's teaching us, he's telling us step by step where to go and what to do. We just need to find out his ideology. We need to know him. We need to know how he works. We need to know what he, is, he, what is he believing? Where is he heading? And then slowly, slowly we can find out how 
can we get in that path? It sounds maybe sometimes difficult, but it's actually very easy. It's difficult if you're looking around everywhere, and it's so easy when if you're looking within. So, here Rumi says, هر کسی از زن خود شد یار من از درون من نجست اسرار من Whoever wants to be my friend from his own perspective they cannot find my secrets If you want to know my secret come look through my eyes to see my secrets So that means we have to get very close to him to know his ideology and then we can understand his poem so hopefully there will be some time I can talk about Rumi's poem and there are some keys how to open those lock for such a huge books that he wrote about love and happiness. Great. I think if you guys are ready, we can have a very short meditation together. But before that, I would be happy to read one of my poems for you guys. Is that fine, sir? Hey heart, it is the time. Hey heart, it is the time. Wake up, hold my hand, teach me walking to the light. It is the time. Hope you liked it. Brilliant. So um, if there's no question, we'll go for meditation. So are we going for meditation or? Or is there any question I can answer? I can't hear you. I think you're on mute, maybe. Yeah. Yes, thank you so much. Yeah, I have one question before we go into the meditation. It's about the power of poetry. As you know, today is International Day of Poetry. And the combination of poetry and healing. And I know that you definitely um, use Rumi and all his wisdom to heal, but can, how, how do you make the connection between poetry and healing? Thank you for such a beautiful question. Why we do healing? To rebalance our energy and our being. When we're out of balance, we go sick, we get confused, we get you know, lots of problems because we are out of harmony. In healing, we bring the harmony back. In Rumi's poem, in self-knowing, in inner understanding, we do the same thing. So all those combination, that's the healing job. So we bring the harmony back to one. Harmony back to one. To each person, yeah. Love it. And I and I love your point. It's so, it's so very much aligned to bringing the harmony back to one, right? Thank now you just... so much, yeah. <laughs> Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Well, uh, I think we'll go for meditation. Our meditation is so easy, so easy, so easy. The only thing you need to do is just to do nothing. You just need to close your eyes for a few minutes, and then I'll ask you guys when to open your eyes, okay? And during this time, what we do is just focusing on ourselves. Actually, we're going to, to hear or to focus on the most beautiful, natural, or supernatural music of your heartbeat so all what we're going to do is to stay in silence and focus on your heartbeat that is the most beautiful music ever so we continue that and then i'll do some of these mantras as rumi was doing and then i'll ask you guys to open your eyes thank you So everybody close eyes, try to get so relaxed. Focus on your heart. Listen to your heartbeat, that beautiful light music
Start having a deep breath, deep, slow breath. And slowly, slowly, we can open our eyes. Fantastic. So we experience very short meditation. So it's possible to do a meditation anytime, anywhere. And the time to me is expandable. Sometime one hour is like one minute and sometime one minute we can do like one hour. So let's have everything in our own hand because we have been given that power. Why not to use it? Mr. Louise, I think my time is over, although I would love to continue, but I think my time is over. So uh, is there any question that I can answer? I can't hear you, sir. Um, you're on mute, yeah? So just one minute question um, about Rumi. For those who who don't know, uh, why why do you think Rumi is one of those um wisdoms that we really need to understand and know what what is the profound change that he brought to humanity well there are lots of scholars who can guide us to the path to make the story shorter if we, we want to do it our age maybe is not enough because they have thousands of years of experience so they're making the shortcut and why rumi because rumi um, well, you know, each person is suitable, their character or their energy with some group of people. Rumi is kind of matching with the most of people. And in this seven, eight hundred years, he's doing brilliant job. And he has no any limitation, not for people, not for religion, not for race, not for anything else. So there is no limitation for Rumi for the people. And there is no limitation for the level of the skies that you can that you can go and he says only from your heart you can touch the sky and everybody loves that that's why we all look up mm -hmm. we know god is everywhere but we look up why because sky is unlimited and human being is unlimited and we love to go to somewhere which is unlimited we love infinities that's why we're so close to rumi because he's all talking about love that's the language for everybody. Everybody loves that language. And he's talking about the skies. He's talking about kindness. What else do we need? He's feeding us with the food that we need. Do you have, um, do you have one poem or one, one thing that you say, okay, when I think of Rumi, this is what comes to mind or every time is something different? Well, um, since, uh, thanks God, I memorize a lot of Rumi's poetry, uh, poems, I mean. That's why every time for any occasion, I will have different poems. But I think I can read for you one. Mm. Um, yeah, this is so beautiful. It says, let the water settle and you will see the moon and stars in your own being. When our heart is so relaxed, when the water is so settled, it's like a mirror. So it reflects whole the world in you. Mm. Now, these are some little quotes, but it means a lot. It gives a lots of messages. Yes. But to me, yeah, uh, to me, a lots of those, it makes me kind of, you know, like uh, takes me somewhere else when I'm reading his poems. Uh, well, I, although I like Hafiz Shirazi too, he's my favorite too, but um, each one for some, and they're all my teachers. Wow, what, a, what an honor having you with us doing this World Happiness Week. Uh, this, is, this is a gift for, for all of us. Thank you so much, so Dr. Much. My pleasure, my pleasure. Uh, hopefully um, uh, we can do much more than this, but the time is uh, limited. And if there is anything I can help anytime at your service. 
absolutely. We'll share your information uh, with everybody, but Please. let's keep the conversation. We need we need this collective healing more than ever before, and what you are bringing here Thank is, you so. is is really really balancing our energies. I love it. Thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day ahead, and all the best. And salam again to everyone. Salam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Thank you. Bye.